of this is Brighton TV and this is the match preview for Brighton vs Palace. And this is a massive game for us. It's a massive rivalry. We really want to win the game. All the fans look forward to uh, this game. And if we do win the game, it could be a massive step forward in us searching for safety. And I think that can happen if we do win. That makes this game even more important. It can be so important in our potential safety in the Premier League. And versus Sheffield United last week, amazing point away from home, 1-1. We played really well and although we didn't have as much possession as what we normally do, that was our lowest possession of this season. It just shows Potter is able to change his tactics depending on the opposition and it was really good how we ended up playing. We ended up creating the chances when we needed to and we restricted Sheffield United. They did have one or two chances other than their goal where they could have scored, but really good defending from us and we did have a few chances where we could have scored, um, but we ended up missing them. But overall, to get a really good point away from home to a really good Sheffield United side is a really good point. And what we need to do, we need to stop conceding the first goal because We've been conceding we've got a first goal way too much. And the first goal can be so important in football. But although when we have done that, in our last three games, we ended up having the character to come back and changing it into draws. So that's really positive. So hopefully we can take that into this game. And when we played Palace earlier in the reverse fixture, we it was 1-1 and we had dominated for so much of the match. And... They didn't look into it until a really, really good goal from Wilfred Zaha. And that's really disappointing because we should have been two or three goals up before they had any real chances. And that's what was disappointing. But now we need to go and create the chances that hopefully we can take them. And what we need to do, we need to start winning the games. We have not won a game in 2020 so far. We're the only team in the Football League not to win in 2020. So hopefully that changes and it'll be even sweeter to change that record against Palace. And my formation for this game, I think will be 4-4-2. And I think in goal will be Ryan. And the back four, I think will be Duncan uh, Webster being the two centre-backs. And... Webster, the reason why I pick him over Duffy is because he's better at defending versus faster players and Palace's main attacks are from their fast uh, wingers. So that's why I think Webster will play. And um, in left back, I think it should be Dan Bud. He's adapted so well to the left back position and we miss him when he doesn't play there. So that's why I think um, Dan Byrne should play. He gives us something else in left back. And in right back, I think it should be Steven Alzate because when we played Aston Villa a few weeks ago, Steven Alzate was given the task of being against Jack Grealish and that didn't look easy. But he ended up keeping Grealish quiet for most of the game. And then when Steven Alzate ended up getting pushed further forward. That's when um, Aston Villa scored through Grealish with a different right back uh, defending against him. And I think he could do a similar job versus Wilfred Zaha. So that's why Alzate should play there. And then the two uh, central midfielders. I think it should be Stevens and Proper. And Proper has been one of our best midfielders this season. And Stevens, I think he gives us something different to what Basuma does. Basuma can look very creative and he does have a lot of pace. But the problem with Basuma is he tends to give the ball away too often. While Stevens, he doesn't give the ball away as much. And he recycles the ball really well. And he does have the ability to do a really good long pass with which is why I think it should be uh, Stevens instead of Basuma. And the two attacking midfielders, I think it should be Trossard and Moy. And Trossard, he can give us whip when needed. He creates chances and he can score goals. So that's why I think Trossard, Trossard should um, be there. And Aaron Moy, I think it should be him because Moy, he's able to drop deep if we need to go and change it to a um, free in midfield. And he ended up taking the free, a free kick for Malpai's goal. So his set pieces this season has been really good and he creates lots of chances. So that's why I think Moy should play. And then a front two of Neil Malpai and Glenn Murray. And the reason is, is because Malpai and Murray, 
they play really well together when they have been playing together this season. And they are just really good. Maupai, who's shorter part, is really quick. He can cause Palace trouble. And Mavi as well. He's a target man. He wins free kicks. He can end up doing really score a lot of headers and lots of aerial battles. So that's why I think uh, Mavi should play. And Mavi, he ends up scoring versus Palace a lot. He scored four in his last four appearances for Brighton versus Palace. So that's why I think uh, Mavi should play. And Maupai did score in the reverse fixture. Uh, for this game and my score predictions for this game I think it'll be 2-0 Brighton and I think it'll be Neil Malpai and Glenn Murray to score don't forget to like and subscribe to Brighton TV and follow us on Instagram